I am a web development teacher, and I'm also a developer at a company in West Georgia, or West Valley called Send Out Cards. Um, are you guys having fun so far today? Yeah. What have you guys all done so far? Robotics. Everybody says robotics. There's, was that like super busy at the beginning of the day? Yeah. It was bad. <laughs> See, the smart ones scheduled it for the end of the day after everybody else. <laughs> Um, everybody got computers fired up if you have them here. You don't have to have it for this class, but um, I'm going to show you some cool tricks to do on the, the internet that that would be kind of fun to follow along with. Um, this class, yeah. Oh, the Wi-Fi password? Oh, I have no idea. I didn't know they were password protected. It might be, I don't know if it's this. No, I doubt that's it. Okay, so, so this class is an introduction to web development. And raise your hand if you've done any programming before. Oh, quite a few, good. Raise your hand if you've done like front end web development. What kind of programming have you guys done? We do Google Python, Shop at my job. I don't I don't do as much Python, I'm more of a node JavaScript. That's <laughs> I like you. It's not for Yeah. Um, what else have you guys done? What kind of programming have you done? Okay. We're going to talk about uh, mostly about front end development. And I'll go over what that means. But it's basically when you go to a website and you see that website in your browser, um, that, has all, that is all the front end website. So uh, front end development then is creating and writing all this. Uh, Brooklyn's on top of it. Cool. <laughs> That's a woman's name. Also I'd like to announce that the force will awaken very soon. So in case you guys wanted to know. This uh, since we're talking about web development, this is actually a web page that my cousin made. He went through the class at Dev Mountain. Uh, over a year ago, and he is at another accelerator program uh, down in Texas right now, but he's been working as a web developer for a while. Do we know passwords for these? How to log on to these? Oh, is it this one on the board? Yeah. Okay. Can you guys see that? I don't know if there's a way to... Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, oh, I think I've got it done here. Okay, cool. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of a Star Wars nerd. Not as I'm not the biggest Star Wars nerd out there. Don't get me wrong, but I love it. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk about web development, kind of take a, a journey through the interwebs uh, with you guys. Again, my name is Dustin Myers. I'm the lead instructor for the after hours class at Dev Mountain. I went through the program a while ago and um, got hired at Send Out Cards, and I'm a software engineer there. And now I teach in the evening for uh, the part-time students. Um, I, I mentor some high school students. And so if you're interested in getting more into um, Brooklyn's on it, if you're interested more in, uh, in web development, talk to me after class. Here's my email. You can email me. Um, it's just a free program. I love to give back to the community. And I want to um, 
make you guys nerds as much as I can. So, uh, yeah, talk to me if that would interest you um, after the class. So what is web development? We kind of talked about that already, but who thinks they've got an idea of what, what it is? I just gave you the explanation. Who can, who can tell me, give it back? I'm going to start pointing and calling. OK, gold tie. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's making the website. Um, you've all heard of programmers, and you know that there's this term out there called code, coding. So programmers use code to make a website. That's exactly right. Um, and web development actually covers a lot, a huge spectrum when we talk about the term. The front-end web development, which we're going to talk about today, is, the, is what you see in your browser. All the functionality, when you click on a button, the, the colors, the font, everything that you see on your browser is the front-end development. There's also, um, we call front-end development, uh, client side as well. So client side web development is front end web development. Um, let's see, there's a back end. Eh, stupid word. Uh, uh, there's also back end development, which is your servers, your databases. Uh, those are all programmed as well with code. And um, as a general term to use to um, uh, but they also need to be given functionality and instructions on what to do and how to run. So uh, there's a lot that goes into it. Oh, server, there we go. Server, yeah. Yeah. Herber. It's Herber. Um, so web development is a, is a huge, huge, huge all-encompassing term, I guess. Um, So at the, at the very beginning, when we first started programming, uh, we used zeros and ones. Who knows what this is called? Binary. Awesome. And what, what does binary do? What, why did we use a zero and a one? Yeah. Yeah, just whatever you're trying to do, it's exactly right. It's a switch. A zero is off, a one is on. So if you have a series of switches, um, and you can flip, flip them all different ways, that would mean one thing. Then you start flipping them again, and that means something else. For example, uh, you can use binary code to uh, write a word, like Stormtrooper. Two words, a name. So this whole chunk of binary code will be given to a computer, and the computer would spit out Stormtrooper. It's pretty cool. Um, and each section here is the letter. So S T O R M space. And it continues. Continues on. What? What is this? Yeah. So, I don't know. Are you a programmer? So you, no. I don't know. Um, we're gonna move on. So, so we don't have a lot of time. So at the very beginning, there was there was binary. That was that's how we started out uh, programming machines, computers, things to do what we wanted them to do. Okay. Then someone came along and said, "Well, this is really, really tedious." To write all these ones and zeros out, or to make all these switches uh, for everything that we want to do. Can you imagine how long it would take to write a school paper in binary? You're crazy. So, so we have people started coming up and, and saying, "Hey, I'm going to I'm going to write this program. I'm going to write this uh, to an app, I guess. I'm going to make this thing that when you on your keyboard type sto." RM space T R O O P E R, it's going to take that in, it's going to take in Stormtrooper, 
and it's going to break it down to binary. And so the computer is going to is going to get this binary code, the chip inside your computer, and then it will display Stormtrooper. Does that make sense? So so binary is the very lowest level that we have, and then someone built something on top of that to help convert it, and then something was built on top of that because that was still pretty low level and still a lot of work, and still a lot of work. And finally, we got to a point where we were given JavaScript. JavaScript is a higher level language. It's a programming language. And when you type something in JavaScript, it goes through that whole series of lower level languages all the way down to binary inside your computer to run functions, to um, make computers and machines do what we want them to. Who's heard of JavaScript before? Yeah. Um, JavaScript is the main programming language that's inside the computer. So everything that you're seeing in the, in the web browser is broken down into JavaScript, JavaScript, and then two other languages which we're going to talk about today as well. HTML5 and CSS. You said you've done a little HTML5, so HTML and CSS. Who's heard of HTML CSS? Cool. Yeah. Who knows what they are exactly? In the back, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You have to have elements in your HTML. They open, they close. Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, what's your name? What do you want to say about HTML CSS? What's that? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're also programming languages just like JavaScript. Um, but they, so all three of these are very necessary when you're building a website. Um, it's how your browser, it's how your, like if you're on Chrome or Internet Explorer or whatever you're using, it's how that browser um, is told to display the website. Okay? So let's take a look at that. Uh, they each hold their own um, their, their own responsibilities. Okay, so CSS is the presentational language for your browser. HTML is the structural, and JavaScript is behavioral. So it's, they're kind of broad topics, but let's talk about what that means. Um, Imagine you're on a website, and just think of a web, think of Facebook. Let's break Facebook down into HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So what do you think, what part on Facebook would the CSS be? Yeah. It would be the, like, so like the, the pin bar at the top, or the post links, or the buttons, how do you the top Yes. I see we're getting, it might be a little confusing. Let me do this real quick. Um, actually, let's, let's do it easier. Let's just look at my cousin's website here. So the CSS, so go ahead and explain what, what part is the CSS uh, on here. Yeah, so the background um, image would be CSS. So yep. What you also need is to know that it can be a good character. Mm -hmm. um, the font color can be uh, CSS as well as the font type. Um, yep. The way the, what does the font type mean? Uh, the, 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 just the font. Yeah, just the font. There you go. And then the way the buttons or the uh, design elements could also be. Yeah. So <laughs> colors. So if you look at the countdown up here, the dark gray and the lighter gray, that color is defined in our CSS file. Okay. The the red of this right here is defined within our CSS file. Um, the like he was saying, the font size, the actual font that we're using. Uh, if you can do, um, you can make bold font, italics, whole bunch of things. Um, all of that, the presentational part of this page is the CSS. So HTML now is the structural, right? So if we look at this site, the way that this, everything, every element on this page is structured is defined on our HTML page in our HTML file. 
So who wants to take a stab at explaining um, the HTML parts that you can see in here? OK, go ahead. The background, yeah. It, it, does, it does play music. <laughs> OK, go ahead. It could be the background picture. Um, just real quick, just an in interjection real fast. There's, there's a lot of overlap, too. So like you were saying, um, the backup image could be set in our HTML file. It could be set with our CSS. So OK, go ahead. Yeah, the actual typing of the words. Now, when you're typing it in your, in your code editor, um, like this, so this is a CSS page. Oh, no. There we go. OK, so this is our HTML, but not the one we want to look at. Um, these are bad examples. Anyway, so yeah, the, when you type it out, when you type the actual word, if I wanted to have a sentence right here, I just type, this is a cool sentence. And then it would show up on my page just as text. And then we use the CSS. I better undo all of that. And then we would use the CSS to give it rules, background color, text align, sent, if you want to center the text how high you want it, the width, if you want to give it a border, um, if you want to have a margin around it, all that. So good. Um, so the actual, the actual sentence or the actual phrase, the force awakens, is typed out in our HTML file. OK, what else? Oh, let's jump over here. I'll give you a break. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, um, they're centered here. So that could also be some CSS. So there's, there's different ways to handle that. Um, what about this box? Tell us about this, the boxes. The what? Yep, it's a div. So we define in our HTML, hey, we want a box here, a box here, a box here, a box here. I want it to be, and then in our CSS, we'll say, I want that box to be this high and this wide, and this box to be this high and this wide. And then we go back to our HTML and say, all right, inside this first box, I want another box. And I want this word. And I want let numbers up here. So all of that, every element that you actually see on the page is in our HTML file. And then how it looks, how it's arranged, how big it is, is all defined in our CSS file. Okay. So now, kind of the, a little more tricky part, a little more conceptual, what is JavaScript doing in this page? JavaScript is our behavioral language. So what would JavaScript, you've, you've answered. Go ahead, Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, it's doing the counting. Awesome. Um, it's tracking what time it is now and doing the math, which is hard. It's tracking the time. So it's tracking the time now from um, all the way to when Star Wars Awakens comes out, July 18th, or July, December 18th, 12 midnight. Who's going? Sweet. So it's, it's doing the math from how long it's going to be until December 18th, midnight. And then it's displaying, and it's actually changing each Every time your second hand or your second clock ticks down, it's changing that. And then when it gets to a minute and an hour, it makes those changes. And then your HTML will display those changes. Does that make sense to everybody? How are we feeling? Good. So that's that's a that's a basic overview of JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Um, I can stop for a second and go over a little bit more, but I want to see where you guys are feeling. So. I call this the thumb test. Give me a thumbs up if you're keeping up. If 
thumbs down if you're totally lost, and then kind of in between if you're like, eh. Everybody give me thumbs. Okay, a lot of thumbs up. Just a, a couple in the middle. For us to understand. Okay, that's okay. Just remember that uh, when you're when you're looking at a website, there's going to be um, elements on those web page, and how they look is defined in a CSS file. The actual element is defined in your HTML, and what that element is going to be doing, like if there's a button or if you hover over a picture and it changes, any behavior type thing, that's your JavaScript. Okay. Um, so we're going to play around a little bit. Uh, so if you've got a computer, you can play with the menu and show you some cool tricks. Um, if you don't have a computer, that's totally fine. Just, I can't just watch. And you, you can see what, no, what we're doing. Um, so we've got this thing called developer tools that all the browsers have made available to web developers. They're tools for us, developers. Developer tools. It's pretty intuitive. Um, let's go to, let's see. This is a really simple website. I really like this. I'm just going to stay here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on any element, and I'm going to click inspect. Boom, there's my developer tools. Did you all get find that? Right click and then inspect, inspect element. Could be a lot of different. If you're in Chrome, that might help so that we all are doing the same, looking at the same thing. Because developer tools between browsers are all a little bit different. So to follow along, yours is probably has a white background, um, is different than this. I've stylized mine. Okay. So let's do this. We're going to go, and we're going to do this. Chrome is going to take up that much. OK, hold on. I'll let the countdown, demo. Now we can do it. OK, Chrome is going to take that much of my page. You're going to take the remainder. Good. I didn't get all the way down, did I? It just repeats. All right, cool. So um, these are really super cool. Now check this out. Uh, down in these boxes, you can see we have .css files. Okay. So all the CSS for this page, all the rules that have been defined and have been given to the browser so that we can see the styling of this page are right here. All of our HTML is right up here. I want to move this down. So this is all the HTML right here. Don't let it trick you. It looks smaller than it actually is because we can all these arrows you can drop down and look into. Okay. Now if you notice, what's happening on the screen is I hover over these these elements here. Yeah, it's highlighting exactly what it is. So let's let's look at the Force Awakens. Look at that. It highlights that whole thing. This element, the Force Awakens, actually takes up all of that space in the blue and orange. Yeah, if you go to this website, it plays music, which is super cool. Um, now, if we... So if we click on that, if we click on the Force Awakens, it gives us all the styling rules right here in our CSS. Yeah. Um, Safari. I think I think you can still right click and view or inspect an el element. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe. Um, just You guys can just follow along and watch what I'm doing. And then practice it. Yeah, 
Gotcha. Okay, so watch this. Now I told you this is going to be kind of fun. This is the fun part. And there's some cool, kind of tricky stuff you can do. Yeah. Oh, um, it is. Why is it not showing up? Okay, it's going to be loud. Yeah. Can you see the website? It's Ryan, R A R Y A N. H C A dot GitHub G I T H U B dot IO slash force dash awakens. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep moving on. Um, so I've clicked on the H1 tag, I've clicked on the Force Awakens, and I've got all the styles down here, the style sheet. So we're going to play around with this website a little bit. Uh, first thing we're going to do is double click on where that little red box is, double click on that whole thing, and we're going to type in blue and hit enter. That's sweet. Nobody was even watching. <laughs> That's so cool. I just changed a website. Yeah. Round of applause for me. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. But you know what? I want this to be more precise. So I'm going to double click on my HTML up here. And I'm going to say exactly. Aha! Added a new word. So the, the Force Awakens in exactly 12 hours. 12 days, one hour, 20. I wish it was 12 hours. Dang it. Got myself excited. Um, I want this to be like super huge, humongous. So instead of 40 pixels, down here in my HTML, I'm, in my CSS, I'm going to, instead of 40 pixels, I'm going to do 140 pixels. Enter. Boom. That's so cool. Is that pretty sweet? Yeah. Yeah, it's so cool. OK, so you guys, raise your hand if you need help with, with anything. OK, I'll come help you. We've got about five minutes to help. Yes.
Okay, cool. Anybody else need help? You getting it? Awesome. Let me show you why this is so cool and why this is fun. And um, I'm also going to show you some private information on me. So hold on. Okay, so nothing too private. Good. Okay, so this is my this is my Best Buy credit card. Um, you can see that I have four thousand dollars available in credit. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to inspect. And you know what? I don't want four thousand dollars available. I want forty thousand. There we go. I just changed my entire bank account. You have to change the credit limit. To What's that? No. <laughs> um, if we go, if we switch back to Star Wars Countdown, see everything, all the changes I've made here. If I just hit refresh, it goes all, it all goes back. That'd be so cool if that was like a permanent change, though. And then all of a sudden, I had forty thousand. That'd be way too easy to hack. Um, but, but if you open up your bank account tonight. And um, you can like really freak your parents out and do something like this. So I'm going to change this back uh, to 4,000. If I wanted to like give my wife a heart attack, I need to do something like this. Current balance, inspect. Oh, there it is, my HTML. And I'm going to say my current balance is... And thousand dollars. Oh crap! I'm like way over, but she won't believe it until I um, until I do something like I'm just gonna add my own color red. Is it up there? I can't see. Is it up there? Ah. Okay. Color red. Ah! Oh no, now I owe $10,000 on my credit card. Even though we, we just got it paid off. Now my wife's gonna be really mad at me for spending that much money on her on Christmas. Um, let's see, what, else, what other cool things can we do here? So yeah, if you wanna like freak your parents out, then uh, log into your bank account and go to your like debit account and, and say, or your checking account, and put like negative $4,000. And show them, be like, mom, dad, I have this problem, I don't know what's going on. And show them, you're like negative $4,123. And they're like, what the heck, are you being, is your is like identity theft going on, what the heck? And just be like, no, I'm just kidding. I just learned this cool trick from this awesome guy today. <laughs> I'm like, oh, geez. Yeah. <laughs> He was a jerk. He called me. He nicknamed me, named me a girl's name. Um, so we'll sign out of there. Uh, okay. So so this is. Oh, let's let's hover off of that. Let me. I can't give you guys my password. Yeah, you can. Cannot. <laughs> um, what's a different site with another password I have? Okay. So I'm going to go to Facebook. Heck yeah, you can hack me all day long. I never get on Facebook. Does anybody use Facebook anymore? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, th I thought high schoolers were like way into Instagram. Is it all about Instagram? Twitter? Oh, by the way, uh, I'll show you my Twitter handle. I think I have almost 30 followers. So if you guys all followed me today, I would double my follower size, okay? Do yeah, I will, totally. <laughs> Okay, so let's do this. Let's log out of here. You know, 
have you ever like gone to a website and they cover up your password and you just have no idea what it is and you need to get that password? Yeah, that happens. Um, so let's do this. So uh, no, I think it's this one. I don't remember. Okay, but you have blah, 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 blah. like oh, it's saved there, but I don't know what it is, and I just need to know my password. Well, you use developer tools. So click on that and go to inspect. Okay, cool. So here's our HTML. Now look at this. Uh, it tells us what type it is. You see the type equals, what does it say? Password. Okay, this is so cool. Let me teach you guys how to hack your friends, okay? Yes. <laughs> okay. So if you just inspect their password, teachers, close your ears for a minute. And you double click on password right here. This is so easy, just text. Oh, it shows the password. Uh-oh, someone's going to get in trouble with that one. Now I have my whole password typed out. Yeah, I know. OK, who's excited now? Web development, all right. <laughs> Um, yeah. What's up? Okay, guys, we're just about done. Um, I know, it's funny. Um, let me just show you some cool stuff. So within, we've talked about HTML, CSS, showing you some awesome hacking tricks. Uh, you guys are all going to get in trouble with your friends. And yay. Uh, the last part, again, was JavaScript. This is probably, uh, this is some difficult stuff, JavaScript. And there's actually, so remember the levels we talked about, binaries at the bottom, JavaScript is a higher level language up here. There's actually a lot of people that have um, gone higher than that and um, given us easier packages. They're called libraries on top of JavaScript to help us. But JavaScript is pretty cool. So this is, this is our JavaScript here. Um, if you're good at algebra, then JavaScript comes a little bit easier because it's a lot of algebra stuff. Like uh, if you have a variable, x and you want to save it as a number then okay uh, that looks like like uh, algebra right now I can use x later so if I want to say 20 plus x then it gives me 30 uh, but you can also do this with like words and stuff variable um, hello equals a string hello world then I can check what it is. Oh, yeah. Hello is hello world. X is 10. Cool. I can do alert. Hello. Ding. Hey, that Facebook says hello world. It gives you that. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with JavaScript. I'll, anything like this login button, um, if you type in all of all the input here to sign up for Facebook, if you click sign up, that functionality the behavior of sending your information all the way to the database, Facebook databases, and logging you in, that's done with JavaScript, uh, at least on the, on the browser side. Yeah. Um, I might be able to. So a lot of times companies, did they have it? A lot of times companies do what's called minifying. And uh, so they don't, they don't let you look at their JavaScript. You're able to see the HTML5 and the CSS because you can see it. They're visual yeah. things. 
Um, but yeah, let's look at it. So if we go to inspect uh, sources right here. So here's all the JavaScript. Thank you. That was a good idea. Yeah, you'll see it there, but it will be more like this. Sorry, we're just about done. I'll just show you this last part because it was a good idea. OK. So Facebook obviously doesn't give you their, um, their, their stuff. This is what it looks like. The, uh, minifying it converts any words just to a letter variable. And so you have no idea what's going on. I mean, they'll say, a, this, this A, this B, C, D, E, F, H, when they typed it out were just were words that made sense for the programming, but now they've minified it, and now this is going to be called, yeah, and they get rid of white space. And, um, yeah, I, there's, there's not really a way to, to go backwards and, and find out what it is, yeah. I mean, it would take a long time. Okay, so... Let's look at his. Um, so he's setting a variable t, and this is a JavaScript function. It's going to find our date and um, find our date here and set the date, the current date, to t. And then he's going to have different variables all the way down, and then going to do all the math, math stuff to. Um, to find out exactly what time it is and how far away we are from December 18th at midnight. And then he's going to, every second, right down here, countdown, um, every second he's going to, to redo all of this math, every single second, and then display the change on the, on the website. So bar deadline, this is the deadline here. Apparently he wanted it at 50 seconds. Um, Anyways, cool. Um, developer tools, super cool, super hacky. Uh, if you want to learn more, there's some really fantastic um, stuff out there to help you learn to get into coding and development. Those first two websites, pluralsite.com and egghead.io, those are paid websites. You, you do have your free trial. Um, so you can have 10 free trials if you have 10 Gmails. I didn't tell you that either. Um, codeacademy.com is free. And it's super cool. So the first two are uh, tutorial videos. You follow along. You just kind of code along with the teacher as they've recorded. Codeacademy.com is actual. They give you a little window to actually code inside of. And they walk you through step by step. They tell you if you're doing something wrong. And it's really, really awesome. Tons of different languages. YouTube, obviously, you can find a lot of different tutorials on YouTube. Um, you can do schooling and training for it. Um, I'm, a, I'm a huge, huge believer in the, the, the STEM programs at schools. And I really I'm a, um, want as many of you guys to get into this kind of stuff as you can. This is definitely the way of the future. Uh, I, before I started programming, I was a photographer making like $30,000 a year. And that was about a year ago. And now, a year later, I'm making close to $90,000 a year. And I'm just starting out. Like, it'll go up from there. So it's a fantastic way to take care of your family, be able to help others around you. And um, yeah, I really, really am an advocate of, of technology. Uh, practice, practice, practice. Have to practice a ton. Put time into it. Again, if you want to, if you want to learn more, um, shoot me an email. Get in touch with me. Stick around after class. Ask some questions. I love to. I love to help. I, it's it's free. I want to find some some students who have some promise in this area and, and help you guys get really good at this. My brother is an iOS developer. He he makes iPhone apps. His boss is like 21 years old. Is the manager. He started coding when he was 15, 16, and he's making like 150 thousand dollars at 21. Like it's so cool. It's not all about money. Don't get me wrong, but but when you have that that kind of money, you can help so many people, and you can pass that on, and you can and lift people up. Um, the owner, Mark Zuckerberg, owner of Facebook, 
just pledged 99% of his income, of his worth, $45 billion to helping people around the world. That's, that is so cool. Um, especially when we're, when we're here today with people who have come as refugees to our country. There's so many people out there that need help. And guys, this is a great way to, to be able to do that. Um, may the force be with you. Thanks for coming. And last, hurrah! For the dark side. Yeah. Uh, stick around after class. You've got, I don't know, 10 minutes before the next one starts. If you have questions, come talk to me. Also, um, these computers are supposed to be given out to students. So I don't know how we don't have a ton here. Um, and I forgot to get about it. I was supposed to like, ask questions and as you answer, you're supposed to get it. Um, if you know of a student that could use something like this at their home, or if you personally have an employer, I've talked to them. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, it's super easy. It's just at Dustin T314. Follow me, please. <laughs> you can take a computer if you follow me. I, I follow you. Oh, Dustin yeah. G? Dustin T. <laughs> yeah, at Dustin T. Just forget this part. Like your name is Dustin G. No, Dustin Myers. Oh, let's see. You forgot the T in between the. There's a Dustin oh. 314. Oh, found it. Take this one. We want this one. Yes. So there's a thing you download and then oh let's see. No, oh, I don't remember. Let me find it. My my buddy sent me sent me the link to it. Uh, it's gonna be pretty far back. And you know? customize the terminal. That's the terminal. Uh, nope. Too far back. Customize. <laughs> Why? Why not? Yeah, I can tell you. I think. See, yeah, I have a customized Chrome. So yeah, this is the one I followed. 
So yeah, I just did. You just do a search for it. I downloaded. You have to download this. So it looks like it's just a Chrome extension. Let me see. Chrome. That goes here. Because if you went back to the Google search ad, I have to go back to the page. That's called zero dark matrix. There is zero dark matrix. Yeah. I think that's just a demo. Oh, yeah, that is. Yeah. So that's just an extension. So add it. Oh, yeah, add it to Chrome. All right. I thought that was more like you had to unlock something. Um, yeah, if you follow this, this is what I followed. There's a lot more here. Installing the thing. Oh, this is for Mac. Yeah. Uh, well, I think they have, like, for Windows, Ubuntu. You can find the custom CSS under the following directories. The following directories. Yeah, I think these ones are all from. Uh, I kind of wish they don't have that as a built-in feature. Yeah. I know. Because yeah. almost all the stuff that are using it right now, you got to have the bottom. Yeah, because you see stuff so much easier. It is. The black it's text true. on the white background, it's. Yeah. It blinds you. Well, in, I, in, a, in our <laughs> office, we keep the lights so we do it to that. We keep blinding. Um, cool. So send me an email with the information. Oh, my dad. So, 
Thanks for coming, guys. Good. Um, come back after you're done, and then yeah, grab one with the monitor, probably. Those ones don't have monitors. You can take that, or you can take one with. Thank <laughs> you.